Cam Aline Saraiva, Leanio Lima. Uh, she's a Brazilian architecture student at the Department of Architecture and Urbanism at the Pontifical Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro and a member of the Humanitarian Architecture Laboratory. Uh, two years ago, she received an honorable mention at the 58th Annual Awards of the Brazilian Institute for Architects for a project called Conversations About Humanitarian Architecture. Currently, currently, she wants to study how architecture can help the situation of forced displacement and refugee camps in Latin America and Caribbean. And now she's presenting a paper called The Precariousness of Refugee Camps. So the floor is all yours, Aline. Thank you very much. Um, before I begin, I want to share the credits of, of my work with my colleagues and my mentor, Vera Hazan, who unfortunately um, passed away last year. There's the current methodology has any share in the precarious of refugee camps. The goal of my research is to show how the current methodology contributes to the precariousness of refugee camps. I choose um, Maria Camp as a case to study to validate my research. And Maria Camp was located in the third larger island of the Greece, last and here you can see the localization of the camp in the island. And Maria Camp was a place among some of the worst refugee camps in the world. And it was the camp with the highest child suicide rating. Because of that, I choose this, this camp. I want to know if um, the camp uh, contributes uh, of this me the health mentor of, of the child. So I, it's, it's this idea that I choose Maria. Um, here we can see uh, the entrance uh, definition of camp. Uh, camp. Refugee camps are initially designed as a short-term solution to keep people safe during this specific emergency. And this diagram is to show um, uh, what a camp is supposed to operate, have the height, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm a little nervous, um, the highest uh, rotation. A temporary solution becomes less. Uh, the camp was designed to have a population with the high rotation. However, in the fact, most of the refugees could leave the camp because they didn't have anywhere else to go. So the camp started to become overpopulated. Um, this camp was designed for 2,500 people. However, it currently has over 15,000 refugees since uh, 2020. The camp's life cycle. Uh, the camps are only sustainable in their design life cycle, have no openings to adapt or expand the camp structure. When their activities go beyond the program time, the tendency is that they will not be able to support themselves, become unhealthy and precariousness. In this timeline, uh, we can see how the precarious of refugee camps. What's a uh, deep reason behind the precarious of Maria? One of the main problems of the Maria camp was the program precarity. That is, the camp was designed for a short life cycle. It's reflected by the choice of material used to build the shelters. The instability of the camp generates an environment in which refugees feel like they don't belong there. 
is a study camp for our routine population. Um, the layout of the camp was made to be static and self a routine. Because of the dimension of the camp reflexes, their design cannot change in size according to the population and its events. When the face of population, there are no ways to expand the camp. The only solution would be to build a new one. In the meantime, refugees must improvise, create a new, a new hour, or, sorry, creating their own shelter outside the camp. I, you can see in these two pictures, if, uh, the first is the camp, um, the second is with uh, the population outside the camp. Um, refugee camps are designed for our universal refugees, regardless of national, culture, religion, race, gender, or age diversity. Result and make it possible um, hostile environment of refugee, especially our uh, women and children. Here is the camp population profile. As we can see in the graph, the counted methodology does not describe Maria's population profile. The population is most composed of women and many nationalities. Children suffer from the... Sorry guys, I'm very nervous. Children suffer from not having a place to camp was designed for them, need to rely on an appropriate place to, to play too. So we must change because the methodology apply has significant impact of the lives of refugees and may our research be the change they need. Thank you very much.